Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here with another review. As per some request, I am continuing on with my malware removal videos. Today I plan on doing this to spy by search and destroy. I also have this plan with one or two more scanners, but I have also already installed another antivirus that I'm getting ready to test soon, so don't think that I've completely switched over to malware removal videos. Today we are going to be putting some focus on SpyBot. SpyBot has been around for many, many years. Used to have a very large following, especially when there used to be more spyware and adware threats. But as threats have evolved, SpyBot's support group slowly started to fade away. While they're still around, I don't believe they have nearly as many users as they once had. But regardless, we will be testing their malware removal capabilities, which is their primary purpose of their product. Now, like in the previous two malware removal videos, I'll put links in the description so you kind of get background to what this test is going to be all about. Basically, the gist is I've already installed malware on the computer, and simply put, we're just going to see how SpyBot removes it by itself. And then we'll see what it leaves behind, and then we'll make a conclusion from that. I have SpyBot's website up right here. We see we are currently using the free version. Uh, full antivirus protection and live protection are both inactive for the free version, so there's no real-time protection, as we can evidently see when internet protection says it is off. And then, believe it or not, SpyBot actually has a bootable CD creator, but you actually need to purchase a professional version in order to utilize that. But the same problems that persisted in the previous removal videos are the same here. Still cannot access Task Manager. Windows Firewall is continuously being disabled regardless of me turning it back on several times. And if we were to go under msconfig, we see we have a bunch of startup entries here. Because I was going a little bit fast, but we see we have a bunch. Far majority of these are not real. I mean, I guess this one is real, but. And I also find it kind of interesting how SpyBot is set to start with the computer, even though they do not have any live protection, supposedly. And. I meant to mention this in a previous removal video, but it looks like somebody misspelled Kaspersky when they were labeling their startup entry. So I thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, we're going to boot in the safe mode, so it should hopefully be easier to run the scan with SpyBot, give it the best chance it has. And once we are done running a full system scan with SpyBot, search and destroy, I will be back. Hello, everybody, I'm back. I have not run the scan yet with SpyBot, however, I just updated it, so I just want to let everybody know that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a full system scan here. And once we are done running the system scan, we will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. The system scan finished. We have a bunch of threats that SpyBot found. If we scroll over the location, we see that quite a few of them are the smart bar application. We have a couple registry keys. Also, when you scroll, it doesn't load it as it's moving, which is kind of a little bit disappointing. But we do have a couple other infections that are found. It looks like a temp file. Internet Explorer breaks it down on the threats that it found. And it also rates the threats. Obviously, the higher up on the scale is the more dangerous threats. And I should also mention these threats are not brand new. This is more of a reactive test that you would see more on infected computers. But I've already mentioned that in the previous two removal videos. But we are going to fix all the items that SpyBot has currently found. And once it is done cleaning those items, I will be back. And peers we see are moved, detected malware. We see all these items were cleaned. 
We're going to remove this malware. We're not going to create a restore point. Firebot search and destroy cannot clean these entries in three attempts. Do you still want to be informed about the results? I'm not sure if it has something to do that we are in safe mode or the fact that it's already cleaned the files because I'm seeing under the status that it's clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and boot back into the regular Windows operating mode and we will see what we have. Hello everybody, I'm back. I boot into the normal Windows operating mode and I just went through all of our quarantined items. I actually didn't appear that I could select all of them at once, so I had to go by each category and right click on one and select all from this product. And I had to do that for all of them, so that's why it took me a couple minutes. But anyway, these are all of the files found in the scan. And we are given an option to purge selected. In my opinion, that's a little bit poorly phrased. I think delete or delete permanently would be a better choice of words, but we are going to purge the selected. Um, now, see, this is also kind of confusing. I think this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, we're given, do you want to purchase item? We could do yes, no, no to all, yes to all, or we could also view help. But I guess I could have reworked that a little bit better, but we're going to click yes to all. And it appears we aren't given any more options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a scheme with CCleaner remove all the temp files that are still left over and then I'm going to run scan with an updated Malwarebytes Super anti spyware both of which I already tested and I also will try and get a scan going Norton Power Racer and Komodo Cleaning Essentials and I will um, you know what, it appears we just had a blue screen when CCleaner was trying to remove a file or process that was already on the computer. I was having issues with blue screens earlier, back when I was installing all the malware on the computer. But, it looks like the computer is restarting, and well, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go into safe mode, run all my scans in safe mode, and then once that is done, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. Unfortunately, I was having some problems getting the Hitman Pro scan to work, but I was able to run a scan, surprisingly, with ESET's online scanner, Norton Power Racer, and Malwarebytes. However, if we start with ESET's online scanner, if you remember from my previous malware removal videos, I was unable to successfully run a scan with ESET. I don't know what is different about today, but we are able to do so. And it says it detected 269 malicious items. If we view a list of the threats that were found, we see several of them are on the desktop, so I would not be concerned about that in particular. But if we get beyond that, we see we have several files right now in Windows. Let's see, we have an installer, system files, something in system 32. It appears we have several items in app that are roaming, some things in temp. Now, I'm not exactly sure what caused the system to crash. I'm sure when I review the final video, I will see what happened. It just appeared as I was running a scan with CCleaner and found either a process or a file that caused the system to crash. So, I can't say for a fact that that was due to malware, but I've never I've never run into that problem except during this review. But I've never seen CCleaner crash the system before, so I would lead it would lead me to believe that it was a malware infection. But ignore the ones that have the desktop and the file location. And it appears we have something in operating memory. We're in Power Racer. We see we have several infections that found. Now, some of these might have been on the desktop, but we see we have several startup items that it did detect, and I and we went into that in greater depth early in the review. All the all the startup items that were listed in MS Config, and then if we look at Malwarebytes, we see that uh, appears we have a worm, 
Let's go back up here. Well, we start from the top. Looks like we have something in temp. Again, something in Windows. Looks like a registry entry. Some program data. Something in users temp. Uh, I actually don't believe that was temp, but something in Windows. Some Trojans, Banker, Trojan Downloader. Pretty much all the same stuff that we've already seen in the past couple of reviews, but just showing how many infections that SpyBot left behind. If we do look at MS Config, just see. What is left? Here, some of them have been removed. However, we still obviously have some that are left on the computer. So, before I make my final call, I'm just going to restart the computer. Just, I want to see if Task Manager works in the normal Windows operating mode. And I just want to show everybody before I restart that there is absolutely nothing in SpyBot's quarantine. We purged or deleted all of the old items. But regardless, we are going to restart the computer. Once we are back into the normal Windows operating mode, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back from restart. It appears our task manager functionality has returned. And after just seeing what is left on the system, I would say that we are definitely in a better position than Richard when we first started the test. I believe SpyBot definitely did help in removing some of the threats on the computer. Definitely feels more responsive. Now, if you personally would ask me, I think it definitely did better than Super Anti Spyware, but it didn't do quite as well as Malwarebytes in terms of processes and startup entries that were left behind. However, I I do believe it paved the way to make it easier to run other scanners, but would I use this as my first choice scanner? Probably not, but we definitely did see it work in this review, and to be honest, I think it performed a little bit better than I was expecting. And you do have to remember that these threats aren't from the last day or so, and some of these threats could be a couple weeks or more out in the wild. So trying to replicate actually cleaning a truly infected computer, I think it did an okay job. So I think that'll be about it for this review. Take it as you wish, and I will talk to you later. Bye.